Oh, hello! You don't know about me without you've watched a series by the name of the Totally Hip Video Book Review, but that ain't no matter. Today's episode takes us back to that American classic, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Some scholars think Huck Finn was written by Mark Twain, while others claim the true author was Samuel Clemens. Like so many other confusing issues nowadays, the science remains unsettled. But we do know that Huck Finn is about a young rascal and an escaped slave who float on a raft down some big river in the middle of the country where things haven't changed much for homeless kids and black men. Huck Finn was published like a hundred years ago, but it's still considered a classic because it's banned in many schools. It turns out we're not done with Huck Finn. The legendary author Robert Coover has written a sequel called Huck Out West. Robert Coover is a postmodern novelist who writes metafiction, which are critical terms signifying that nobody knows what the f he's doing. If, like me, you read the cliff notes all the way to the end, you know that Mark Twain's novel concludes with Huck Finn telling us he's gonna head out to the territory ahead of the rest. Robert Coover's novel picks up that story just a few decades later when Huck is a man, but he still sounds just as innocent and vulnerable as he did in the original movie. All your favorites is here, but now they're all grown up. Except the dead ones. Well, there's Jim, more than 10 years after the Civil War, and still screwed. Well, there's cute little Becky Thatcher. She's a woman now, and a prostitute. Come back to the raft again, Huck, honey. Meanwhile, we learn that Huck has worked for the Pony Express, lived with Indians, and worked as the guide for that American hero, General George Custer. But now, he just wants to settle down in the Black Hills of South Dakota and enjoy the simple pleasures of life. But that's not gonna happen. No, it's not the Widow Douglas. It's the arrival of his imaginative boyhood friend, Tom Sawyer. Except that now Tom is a hypnotically popular, smooth-talking politician, and he also rails against Mexicans and brags about abusing women. I will build a great fence. Nobody builds better fences than me, believe me. And I will build it very inexpensively. And. I will make Mexico paint that fence. The boy who once clowned around by destroying his rivals is a leader who actually does it. Huck Out West gets so dark and so sad that sometimes it feels like Robert Coover doesn't understand that Huck Finn is just a comic novel for kids. So, there ain't nothing more to talk about, and I'm rotten glad of it, because if I'd have known what a trouble it was to make a video, I wouldn't have tackled it.